Hi, and welcome to Season 2 of Furuno Connections. I'm Jeff Kozlarek. I've got something special for you this season as we do a product comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison of the Navnet TZ Touch 3 with all of our competitors. Now, we know that you're probably going to say that this is a Furuno video, so it's not going to be unbiased, but we did our best to level the playing field. To start off, we have four similar Yellowfin boats and the latest comparable electronics from four major manufacturers. We made sure that every unit had the latest software update and each system was run using the default out-of-the-box auto settings because, well, we know that that's how the majority of people use their electronics. Every system is also using the exact same transducer for the internal fish finder test, and we used similarly specced solid-state radar domes mounted in the exact same location on each boat. It would be great if there were a Consumer Reports for Marine Electronics, but since there isn't, we really did our very best to make this as unbiased a test as possible. We went out and purchased the latest equipment from each manufacturer that was available on the open market at the time of this filming. Our intention is not to single out any of the other manufacturers, which is why we taped off the names on the MFDs and radars. Instead, we'll be referring to the competitive packages as System A, System B, and System C. All the systems we tested are quality products, and ultimately what we want is for you to watch this season and walk away completely informed on each system so you can come to your own conclusion on how well TZ Touch 3 stacks up to our competition. Also, we wanted to provide you with an average cost comparison, so we put together this price matrix to give you an approximate idea of what you might pay for each package. So we've leveled the playing field, we've got everything set up and ready to go. We want you to make the final decision to see how things stack up. So let's go meet the crew. So welcome to the Furuno boat. This is a 36-foot yellow fin that we have Captain Jack Carlson from Two Kong Sport Fishing on. And we also have Eric Coons from Furuno. Eric, why don't you tell us about the new equipment that we have in the boat here? Yeah, this is really exciting. We have our brand new TZ Touch 3 19-inch MFD on the boat. We've never had a 19-inch in TZ Touch before, so I'm really excited. It's got an IPS display. It means you can view it from any angle. It's super bright. Great new features, great speed, great performance. We also have in, built into this display is a dual channel chirp kilowatt sounder, a free synthesizer, flexible frequency. We can do a lot of things with that. We're gonna hook it up to a 275 LHW transducer, which will give us a fair comparison with all our competitors. Additionally, we have DRS 4D NXT Doppler solid state radar, famous radar that's won a lot of awards and accolades. And we also have a DFF 3D multi-beam sonar built into this system as well, or on this boat, that's actually going to uh, allow us to compare the side scan capabilities amongst our competitors. So we're really excited to get going. That's awesome, Eric. This is a system that you guys are going to love to get your hands on. So let's go. We have three more boats to get on and meet the crew and find out the equipment. Let's go take a look. So here we are on System A's boat. This is a 34-foot yellowfin. We're here with Captain Mike from Two Conks Sport Fishing. We have Tim Moore from Furuno and Matt Bray from Furuno as well. Tim, why don't you give us a little information about what is on this boat? Thanks, Jeff. We've set Captain Mike up with a 16-inch MFD that comes with a dual channel, one kilowatt chirp, and also a 24-inch solid state Doppler radar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use all the systems built into this unit take it out, test it against all the other boats we'll be setting up, and see how it fares along with everything else that's available. Well, as Tim mentioned, we've got other boats to take a look at, so let's jump on to System B and see what's on that boat. All right, so here we are on System B boat. We have Captain Manny here from Two Conks, and we also have Clayton Pattison from Furuno. Clayton, tell us what's on this boat. Well, with System B, we have a 16-inch display with a built-in two-channel chirp sounder in it. Now we're going to use the B275LHW transducer, just like all the other boats. We also have a Doppler ray dome, which is very similar to ours. Now, like all the other displays, we've already updated all the software, so everybody is up to date. Okay. And we have all the settings are in automatic, so that everything is on an even playing field. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Let's get on the next boat and see what's on there. All right, so here we are on System C's boat with Captain Cam from Two Conks. This is a 36-foot yellowfin, and we also have Braden Shoemaker here with Furuno. And uh, Braden, tell us a little bit about what's on this boat. So Jeff, on this boat we have a 16-inch display, and hooked to this 16-inch display is a 25-watt solid-state Doppler dome. We're also going to have a B275 LHW transducer, just like we do on every other boat. 
We're trying to make it as even of a playing field as we possibly can. So all these units are gonna be on settings that come right out of the box. And this is a built-in 1KW chirp system as well. It is a built-in 1KW chirp, yes. Awesome. All right, well, now you've met the crew and you know the players of the game, let's get out there and test the systems. Pretty amazing, right? We have four boats, four systems, and four teams, and we're gonna be attempting something that has never been documented before. Over the next several episodes, we're gonna be covering radar performance, fish finder performance, and even 3D sonar. But it all starts with the MFD. In the next episode, we're gonna be covering the user interface. We're gonna be talking about how you do certain things within each system, and we're gonna be comparing them. So make sure you join us in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the little bell below for notifications the next time we upload a video. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.